let us go for the new topic chimneys this is introductory part completely theory it will be telling you what are the forces acting on the chimneys what are the structural elements what is uh, the figure of the chimney everything you will be knowing in this video uh, let me read the point chimneys are relatively large structures subjected to three types of stresses first stress is due to self weight second stress is due to wind uh, moreover the chimneys are provided at the open places the wind pressure is more so we have to consider the stress due to wind third one is stresses due to temperature variation between the inside and outside of the chimney so we know very well uh, that uh, chimney uh, through chimney the hot gases will be sent to send out so the hot gases due to that hot gases the temperature variation will occur between the inside of the chimney and outside of the chimney let us see all of these brick chimneys are suitable for short short heights as they become bulky with increase in height and require heavy foundation so brick chimneys are very heavy for if we provide for more heights uh, the thickness will be increasing so it become bulky as well as the foundation needs to be increased also due to the last temperature gradient brick chimney frequently cracks due to the temperature difference and becomes unstable so this is one more disadvantage due to the brick chimneys so in such cases in contrast to this concrete chimneys are lighter and stronger and are less vulnerable to the cracks due to the temperature difference these are thermally resistant compared to bricks so we go for we generally prefer the concrete rc chimneys nowadays uh, if the temperature of the fire gases does not exceed 400 degrees centigrade concrete chimneys can be used without any special fire brick lining see here if the fire gases does not exceed 400 degrees centigrade so we can any special fire brick lining without any special fire brick lining we can design the chimneys for higher temperatures fire brick lining is provided with this fire brick li uh, lining is in order to resist the higher temperatures inside the chimney is provided with the gap between the inner face of the chimney and lining the thickness may vary from the minimum at 15 cm at the top to 45 cm at the bottom depending on the height of the chimney this is about the thickness we shall see the design uh, in the in addition to this horizontal steel hoop steel is provided to resist the horizontal shear and also to reduce the effort of the uh, if, sorry effect of the temperature gradient on the concrete see here these dots represent the hoop tension that is rings steel rings this is the longitudinal steel these are horizontal hoop bars this is outside of the chimney this is the inside of the chimney this is the fire brick lining see here temperature gradient is like this the red color uh, pen you shows that red color line represents the temperature gradient gradient is nothing but gap changing the temperature is more here t1 is more and after the fire brick lining most of the temperature it was absorbed and temperature was decreased here and this is air gap after the air gap this is a concrete uh, outside it is even more decreased t3 this is inside of the chimney hot gases will flow like this this may be 100 mm this is assumed that it has 8 to 115 15 cm we can give you uh, give the air gap these are the vertical bars see here this is one more problem in uh, in between we may we may provide bra brackets in order to keep uh, the brick lining in stay uh, in position we have to provide the brackets see here as a brackets to support the fire brick lining at regular intervals in order to support the fire brick lining we have to provide the brackets in between rc brackets reinforced concrete brackets this is the air gap this is a flue op uh, opening this is not fuel opening this is flue opening f l u e the spelling is wrong please check that flue opening uh, here from this the gases uh, will enter the chimney and go out uh, 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 travel top and go out of the chimney this is the raft for generally we prefer raft foundation as this is very broad base uh, we provide a slab foundation that is required can call it as raft foundation parts of the chimney see here a reinforced concrete chimney is generally circular in shape with rigid concrete shell a uh, cast with a rich concrete mix m20 to m25 grade and provided with longitudinal vertical and horizontal hoop reinforcements these are all the reinforcement we have to provide vertical reinforcement is nothing but this these lines 
and the hoop reinforcement is nothing but these dots a fire brick lining 100 to 150 mm thick is provided inside the concrete shell with an air gap of 80 to 150 mm thick to reduce the temperature gradient from interior surface to of the fire brick lining to the exterior surface of the concrete shell this is as explained this uh, red color line indicates the temperature variation is a more decreased here and it is a constant up to almost constant up to here and finally decreased more when it comes out of the chimney see here next point rc bracket reinforced concrete brackets are provided at regular intervals to support the fire brick line as i said uh, at the bottom of the chimney the provision is made for flue opening the chimney rests on the circular raft foundation these are all i have explained in the, from the diagram design factors so while designing we have to consider these factors see here rc chimneys are designed to withstand the stresses developed due to three first one self weight of the chimney wind pressure temperature stresses we have to consider all these three self weight of the chimney it is comprised of dead weight of, of the concrete shell and fire brick lining together with the brackets yes this is a, this is the complete self weight of the chimney next one is wind pressure wind pressure is actually uh, when the uh, see here when the wind meets an obstruction it exerts pressure on the obstruction so wind is actually flowing the, uh, when it is flowing if if it finds any obstruction definitely there will be pressure on that obstruction we have to find that uh, wind pressure in the intensity of the pressure depends upon the wind velocity which in turn depends on the elevation of above the ground see here simply the wind pressure depends on the velocity of wind at the given place uh, the velocity of wind and the pressure may change according to the place and height see here the velocity of the wind increases with the altitude above the ground as the height increases the velocity of the wind increases is 875 specifies the wind pressure at the various heights as given in the table please remember this table please note this and remember it may not be allowed to you in the examination hall please remember try to remember this problem uh, this table uh, height above the ground from 0 3 at regular intervals up to 27 3 i have given you and here from 30 38 46 54 62 77 these are all height in meters and this is the wind pressure p this is wind pressure kg per meter square and see there are shape factors shape factors uh, according to the shape the shape factor will be given we have to use in the design of uh, design problem while calculating the wing, wind pressure we have to consider the shape factor for circular it is 0 0.7 0. the rate this is from 0 to 4 4 meter height 4 to 8 meter height 8 to above 8 to above see here circular 0 0.7 octagonal 0 0.8 0 0.9 1.0 according to the base width according to the sorry according to the ratio of height to base width square uh, see here square wind it perpendicular to the diagonal when it is touching the diagonal then these are the factors the square when it is uh, wind is perpendicular to the face these are the values and next temperature stresses we have to consider due to the temperature gradient between the inside and outside uh, faces of chimney temperature stresses are induced in the chimney walls both in the vertical and horizontal planes as I said, the temperature gradient, this uh, due to that uh, changes in temperature, there will be temperature stress. The inner surface of the shell being the higher temperature tends to expand more than the outer surface, which is restrain the expansion of the inner fibers to a certain extent. I have talked about air gap, right? So here, as the temperature is more here, there is a tendency to ex uh, tendency for expansion of this portion. As the temperature is more here, there is a tendency to expansion of this portion. So the air gap allows the that expansion. That is why we are providing air gap. The restrained expansion expansion results in compression of in, inner fibers and tension uh, at the outer fibers. Here inside it is compression, outside it is tension. See, uh, in consequence of, of this effect, the concrete shell is subjected to bending moment in vertical plane as shown in the figure like this. The experiment have shown that rate of fall or temperature is steeper uh, in the fire brick lining than the concrete shell. Here, the temperature is more than this. That is what it says. So, see the points here. These are very easy. This is now uh, just what I have explained. The temperature at A is slightly lower than. This is to explain temperature gradient. How the temperature decreases from fire brick lining to the outside of the chimney. 